a backup performance that matches it. Certainly sharp with his first throw. Here he is on first down, running. And the ball comes out. That's a fumble. And it's recovered at the one-yard line by Zach Sealer, who had a touchdown six days ago against Tennessee. In the playoff mix, in the hunt. Here's Wilson. No chance. No chance is Bradley Chubb trying to atone for some mistakes he made on Monday night against Tennessee. But right now, for a young quarterback, your job here is to protect the football and try and find someone. Third and eight. And they sack him again. This time it's Sealer. These are the times I would run the ball. And they think you're going to pass. Second and ten. And another sack. The fourth of this first half by the Dolphins. Very much aligned with what the season has been as well. Third and ten. He's going to have to work the middle of the field here. Oh, and no chance. Chubb has another sack. And the Miami defense registers its fifth sack of the first half. First and ten, though. Off the penalty. Play action. Deep ball. Going deep, and it's intercepted at the one-yard line. Brandon Jones has it. To the 30. That's a 40-yard run back. One second to snap it. Simeon does on third and 13. Ball stripped out of his hands and swallowed up right away by Bradley Chubb. You've been calling his name over and over again, how great he's been playing, and he just adds on with another play. Oh, let's see what you did there. Yeah, no. That's what you do when it's 30 nothing. <laughs> Here's the pass, looking at a pick here, and it is. Intercepted for the second time. Brandon Jones has an interception. A third and six. And they need the 30-yard line. Jones up, hit by Granderson, intercepted on the ricochet. That's Matthew for six. It's a pick six. Matt Jones moves up, trapped on the play by Jordan. Cameron Jordan with his first sack this season. Trying to hang on to that one timeout to be able to use it after this. Third down. Third down, 14. Here they come. Granderson gets them. Another sack. Granderson disrupts him again. Third good defensive play for him. Stevenson of the backfield and Mac Jones arranging his receiver. At the first and 10 from the 10 with the fake and a block by Stevenson in time to throw. Bobble deflected and Warner, the linebacker, will vacuum in another turnover. And uh, it's cool that it impacts him all these years later. Second and 10, little shoulder shake. Look out, ball is out as they take him down to the 42 yard line. Raiders think they have it, and they do. Malcolm Koontz comes in, gets the sack, forces the fumble, and Las Vegas takes over. Start on the ground to the 30 yard line. There's Joshua Kelly, that ball is out as well. Raiders think they have it. Here come the officials. They do. Oh boy. Third and five. Look out. Sack. And that's the way the first quarter will end on a. Josh Jacobs just said, you know, we just rally around him. We, we, we love that he's been there and done it as a player. And we respect him as a coach. But uh, he, he gets these players to really buy in. Cole's pick. That oh. ball is out. And again, a turnover. DJ Turner comes away with it. The ruling on the field is a fumble by the receiving team. Recover Good idea based on the coverage that he saw where he wanted to go with the ball and got it out quickly. No huddle here. Stick. Looking. Look out from behind. And the ball is out. It's going to be ruled. It's, and it's alive and going to the end zone right now. For what is ruled a touchdown is John Jenkins. The second down and 13. Oh, baby. Unbelievable. Jack Jones. They do it again. 
I mean, there are bad dreams, and there are crazy bad dreams. And for the Chargers, it's been that kind of a night. When they go to man-to-man -man coverage, although they don't play a lot of man-to-man -man coverage, they mainly play zone. Teams Third. have been able to attack the youth. Third down nine, bouncing around like a pinball as Young gets it out. And then the tackle on Hubbard is made by EJ Speed, and no gain on the play, and it's fourth down. That's another loss right there. You mentioned the struggles Brown had a week ago. Third down ten, here they come. He had an illness this week, and so he wasn't a clean participant in practice. It's a first and ten, and a block by Hubbard. And down goes Young. Coming through, Eric Johnson. That's Thielen on the move. It's a first and ten, and Young. Underneath, it's picked off! And here comes the veteran, Kenny Moore! Chased by Young! That is a pick six! Touchdown on the interception by Kenny Moore. I said, how'd you grow up and, and survive that? He goes, I, I, was, I spent a lot of time away from home, outside, playing with my buddies. First and ten. Young pressured and down he goes. Oh, Dangbo comes through and brings him down. They play back and they play in zone and they try and keep you from having the big plays. Second and eight, fake to Sanders. They come through. It's intercepted again. And again, it's picked off by Moore. A foot race. It'll be his second pick six. <laughs> his second pick six today. 64-yard return. Down by two scores, so they'll be up tempo the rest of the way. Second down, six to go, and intercepted. Picked off by a Luby. Down he goes, sacked again. And this time making the move. Chubb splits out to the top of the screen. Quick throw and picked off. The deflection and intercepted by Highsmith. Touchdown. What a start for the Steeler. They confirm that Delpit did secure that ball going to the ground. Now Watson is brought down by Ogan Joby. Out for the rest of the night, and who knows how long. Second and ten. Watson in trouble. Flag flies, and Watson dragged down by DeMarvin Leal. Watson in trouble. There he is, T.J. Watt. What Neal showing blitz. Here he comes. Pressure ball out. Picked up. What? Touchdown Steelers! Four man rush. Watson keeping it alive, but not anymore. Down he goes. And another sack by this Steeler defense. Marcus Golden was in there. They're really effective with it, and Watson has to just get rid of the ball. Third down. Watson stays on his feet. Now he's down, Elijah Riley. So with three and out from each side, Thomas Morstead has had in some ways his best year at 37 years old. Drives Darius Davis back and a pretty good return. Good's turning to great. Darius Davis, he is gone. There are no flags on the field and those are the first points on this Monday night. Touchdown for the rookie. Quick throw, Garrett Wilson. Ball's out. And it is no signal yet. They're going to give it to the Chargers. Wilson was loose with the ball. Forced fumble by Aloe Gilman, and that ball came out. Alan Lazard just, he hasn't been much of a factor in these games. Now Zach Wilson is sacked. Play is made by Tuli Tui Pelotu, and that's his third of the season. Wilson suffers the sack. Down he goes, and Khalil Mack was there for the Chargers. Third down and 15, Zach Wilson 
sacked again. Wilson runs out of time and down he goes. Joey Bosa just pulled him to the ground. Wilson out to his left. Joey Pelotu is there with another Charger sack. Wilson, the ball is knocked away. It's picked up by the Chargers. This is a live ball and returned by Gilman. There are flags down, and right now Gilman is to the pylon and in. They're looking to put a lot better product on the field here today at home. Jones, pressure coming. He's in trouble. Fowler coming. Ball is loose. Fenderes picks it up. Touchdown, Dallas. Bill Belichick staple in these middle four minutes around halftime. Second down, a lot of time. Jones just can't find it. Comes back across the field. This time he pays the price. Deron Bland, pick six. You're going to defend more passing situations, and that's what they're built for. Blitz coming, fourth down. They got to have it. Coming near side. It's another interception. It's picked off by Bland again. Just get the playoff. Parsons coming with pressure. Zappi's in trouble. Down he goes. Parsons kind of brought the initial pressure, but then Sam Williams gets home. They're typically the thing you challenge with, but good, good third down conversion. Play action time again for Jones. Time runs out, and out of bounds he goes. Shoved there by Jordan Brooks. He's only had one snap through the first three games inside, but they they're thin in the secondary. Blitz. Down goes Jones. Witherspoon got him. His first in the NFL. The formula has been for Daniel Jones, and even on that last play. Blitz off the edge. Nwosu couldn't get there, and the ball's out. Picked up by Brooks. Seattle's ball out of bounds inside the 10. Mario Edwards forced it. Drive started at their own two. Campbell brought down. Guess who? You got Tackle it. Tackle number six on the night already for Devin Witherspoon. And that's been the story, really, Joe, through the first three weeks as well. They've had one big play to Brita, but it was really, you know, kind of a scramble play. Jones avoids a sack for the moment and now spins his way back to the line of scrimmage. As what is now a makeshift offensive line for the Giants breaks down. And that's why you're just trying to get it out and see if a guy can catch it and run. More pressure in the sixth sack of the night by the Seahawks. And there is just no time for Jones, Bobby Wagner. This one's picked. Back the other way, Witherspoon. Devin Witherspoon cuts back. What a night for the rookie. You think they love him in Seattle? How about six points? Touchdown, Witherspoon. No flags. They're happy to have him. He's been playing great, able to get up and jog off the field. Here's Wagner and another sack and just no chance for Daniel Jones. I mean, tonight is unreal. There's another one. Nwosu. Jones is sacked for the ninth time. This time it's Miles Adams, his first of the year. Jones, another pick. Quandre Diggs. Jones was hesitant, let it go, and Diggs takes it down near the Giants 45. No, and I thought he was a friend. <laughs> hey, there's another. And this one belongs to Boyan Mafe. I mean, there's some serious depth with this roster, which comes from the deal that they made in large part with the Broncos. Here's another sack. Ball comes out. Miwosu gets there again. And 
a turnover on downs by this Giants offense. I think it's one of the things that settles you as a quarterback, one of those early hits. Howell back to the air. Nobody there. Howell in trouble, and down he goes. And Oliver. I think that's something he'll clean up as he gains more experience. They give the sack to Oliver. Howell, nowhere to go again, trying to escape. He cannot. Terrell Bernard was able to come across and bring Howell down. He was sacrificed by not running. On third and long, Howell intercepted by Bernard. Second straight week with an interception for the Buffalo linebacker, and the Bills take over. Dig very deep in the archives to find an interception that Matt <laughs> threw in his career. Howell chased in trouble, and down he goes. Another sack for the Buffalo defense, and Bernard has been everywhere in the first quarter. He's been very effective in these two-minute situations. Third down and two, pressure coming. Howell's picked off. Micah Hyde. Vanessa brought the pressure. Howell had to get rid of it, and Micah Hyde has his first interception in two years. Tenth play of the drive. Howell to the end zone, and it is intercepted! Tredavious White! What a play by White! And that's the third interception today by the Buffalo defense. Howell steps up. Floyd rips him down from behind. Leonard Floyd, what addition he has been for this Buffalo defense. Second and ten. Floyd's coming again, and he's got Howell again. Wow, Leonard Floyd just flew off the line, and it's back-to-back -back sacks for the veteran. First down and ten. The screen to Gibson makes a great catch and slips one. Still on his feet, and the ball comes out. And Terrell Bernard looks to be right there. Bernard and Johnson, and it is Bernard who comes away with it. Bills fans on their feet making noise on this third down. Howell. And it's intercepted. What a play. And Vanessa is going to go. First career interception for A.J. Epinesa, and it's a pick six for the big guys. Because you're trying to find a guy that can be the face of this franchise at the quarterback position for the next 10 years. And you got to find out, number one, if you have it, but he's got to learn everything he can in a short amount of time. Ed Oliver with the sixth Buffalo sack of the day, and now on third down and long, Howell in trouble again, and down he goes again. Greg Rousseau brings down Howell. It's like the sun has come out here in Washington. As we approach one minute to go. Maybe tomorrow. Epinesa, after the pick six, now adds a sack to his day. Second down and 14. Howell pressure coming, and down he goes again. Daquan Jones finished him off for the ninth sack of the day by the Buffalo defense. They yeah, showed up on the injury report on Friday. Third and ten. Cowboys bring four. Jones up the middle. Thrown down by Micah Parsons. And Dayball arrival helped Jones steady his play and helped Daniel Jones earn that contract we mentioned at the beginning. 25 again under siege, trying to get away, and he's sacked down back at the 16 yard line. Third and 19. Jones gets it out. Barkley got hit, fumbled right in the air, and it flies into the hands for a touchdown of Deron Blaine. He drew a couple of pass interferences, saw him throw a good key block on a play earlier today in the Ravens' victory. Well, the Ravens suffered several injuries in that one. See if the Giants can get anything going. Jones running for his life. Throws it back across. The flag down was Jones inbounds. It's ruled a pick on the field by Stephon Gilmore. Giants first and ten. Desperate for a score. Jones tries to get away. Can't do it. Dorrance Armstrong coming off the edge. The third sack of Jones here tonight. Hyatt won the Bolitnikoff Award. Best receiver in college football last year. Look out again. Jones brought down. Also, Odigi Zua gets him there. 
37, Jones, no time again. Also, Dickie Zua for the second time, and that's five on the night. Jalen Hyatt in motion, third and 12. Cowboys coming again, and they get to Jones for a sixth time. Russo, Diggy, Zula having a big night. It has been a rough go so far for Daniel Jones. Here's a throw that is complete, and Isaiah Hodgins on the run. And, of course, the ball comes out, and the Cowboys pick it up. Israel Mukwamu comes up with it for Dallas. The ruling on the field is a catch, fumble, recovered by Dallas. Leave the pressure with Matt Frieda, and he loses the football. Paris Campbell jumps on it for the Giants.